All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Evan Sofer. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm with William Rabus Real Estate. I'm a real estate agent in South Florida, primarily doing business in Palm Beach County. And today I have on with me a good friend of mine named Kevin Thatcher, who is the CEO and owner of Independent Title Company. He's also a best-selling author. And uh, maybe most importantly, he's a founding member of the BNI group that we're in together. So welcome, Kevin. Uh, we wanted to come on today to give everyone an insight um, from two professionals that are working in the real estate field. Me, obviously, as a real estate agent, Kevin as the owner of a title company. And yeah, we just really want to talk about our perspectives. Um, Kevin, I'll start with you because there's a lot of people who right now think that the real estate market is dead. They're thinking that, you know, no one's buying houses currently. So give us an insight as to what's, what's really going on numbers wise and what you guys are doing at Independence Title. Absolutely. So first, thanks for having me. You know, I always appreciate getting on with, with fellow industry professionals and, and just having a chat. You know, now we're, we're obviously going through this global pandemic and it almost makes it easier in our business to get in front of more people because, you know, the reality is, is with the stay at home order, everyone's home. And with everyone being home, it means they're doing what? They have their phone in their hand, they're on social media. Um, so this is actually a great platform to uh, be able to get the message out to people that we're going to be okay. Uh, right. you, know, you mentioned at the beginning, you know, obviously I'm a best-selling author. I've authored five books. My most recent book, which launched about a year and a half ago, was titled Rescue Your Business. And, and it really talks about the strategies that I learned, A, from being a firefighter. I was actually a firefighter. We moved down from New York 20 days before September 11th. Wow. Uh, and, you know, I went through the mortgage business and the real estate business in 01, 02, 03, 04. Five got a little bit slower, you know, we, we had the crash. And, and in this recent book that I wrote, I wrote about, wrote about all of the suffering that I had uh, when the market crashed because it was very painful for me. I lost everything. And, and people can read the book more to, to kind of learn some of the tips and tricks, you know, but it, it gave me a great perspective to be able to enter something like this because everyone always said, well, it didn't crash overnight. And I have a different opinion. I think the market back then crashed overnight, similar to how this global pandemic just came upon us. And, and just in a matter of, of days, you know, the market has, has suffered in a lot of industries, you know, the real estate industry, the travel industry, the, the restaurant industry, you know, you see a lot of people that are, that are just out of work right. and the government's doing a big bailout. So I think part of it is just for people to really understand that, that we are gonna be okay for those that properly plan uh, to, to enter the market in, in tough economic times. You know, right. you look out off the beach, you go to the beach, if they let you near the beach, you see the cruise ships all sitting out off the coast. Uh, you know, but I'm speaking to, to friends of mine because I do a lot of cruising and, and I become friends with a lot of the people that work on the cruises. So I've been messaging them a lot and, and they're like, we're okay. Yes, there are no guests, but right. we're okay. The cruise lines are taking right. care of us. So, right. you know, when, when we start talking about the fear it's, you know, if you put on the news and you watch, you know, the president's news briefing, whether you like them or not, it doesn't matter. The right. point is, is that if you turn on all of this media, the media is going to damage our economy. And that's the problem. You know, we are in an economy where, where the media just takes over and causes more damage than, than they do good for our community. So right. it goes back to your initial question. You know, what do we see? We see the market is on fire right now. We are still closing on average 50, 60, 70 closings in any given month. Right. We still have our employees here. Uh, you know, all of our closers, we haven't had to let any of our closers go. Although events and marketing and things like that are down uh, because there's no face to face, but the closings are still taking place. The agents are still out there. We, we are deemed essential business. You know, if you look on our website and our YouTube channel, you yep. know, we posted a video, we were on NBC a couple of weeks ago talking about essential business and what does it mean and, and how do you properly uh, keep a business open during these economic times. So, right. you know, just to answer your question, to give them a, a brief update that the, the market is good. Agents right. like yourself are still doing business. You're just finding new ways of doing business and the ones that don't adapt to the new changing way are gonna be out of business. So for you doing virtual tours, is probably standard in right. your business model. But some of the agents that have been in the market for a long time, they're like, nah, virtual tours don't matter. Now they matter more than ever. So you set yourself apart from the competition. Right, exactly, yeah. And I um, personally, yeah, I've done virtual showings where both I've been on the listing side as well as the buyer side. We've done Zoom calls and walked clients throughout the house with 
with masks, of course, we take all of the necessary precautions. Uh, I've also been on the side where, you know, I'm the buying agent and I FaceTime my clients. They're able to see the house and it honestly works out pretty great. Um, again, we've also just marketed, I've done even more now actually than before this whole COVID-19 pandemic came along is I'm just on the MLS, honestly, all day, uh, sending properties to clients, looking at neighborhoods, looking at trends, looking at this month compared to last month and you know, doing my best to predict for clients what's going to happen. So yeah, I agree with you that essential businesses really are thriving. I know someone as well in an essential business, uh, in the landscaping business, and they have over 100 employees, and they luckily have not had to lay off anybody in that entire field. Obviously, I know that's, it's different with all professions, but you're right that a lot of the essential businesses are still able to keep going. So um, I wanted to give some quick numbers here to everybody who's very much in Palm Beach County. These numbers are all based on Palm Beach County. They're as recent as this morning. And they're all basically the active listings. I'm gonna break down sort of what's really going on in Palm Beach County real estate. So right now in Palm Beach County, I know this is gonna sound like a ton, but it's 100% true. There are over 11,300 listings active in Palm Beach County as of this morning. So I know that sounds crazy to some people because they think, oh, maybe a hundred houses are on the market in my town, but really there's still thousands of homes on the market. Um, and then I took it a step further and over half, half of those 11,300 homes are in the price point of 100,000 to 500,000. So I, I could have probably guessed that as I'm sure you probably could have as well, Kevin, uh, but it was still reassuring to see that, that that's usually where the most activity lies, regardless of during a pandemic or not. So that hasn't really changed where that's where the majority of listings lie. Um, besides that, I took a look into the homes that are, have gone under contract versus have just sold and more homes have gone under contract and have sold in the month of March, not only since March, 2019 at this time, but since February of 2020, as well as January of 2020. So, the market doesn't know whether it's there's a pandemic going on or not. It's just the numbers that are still amazingly still rising. So I posted on my social media yesterday that it's a good reminder that there is still, it's another reminder that there is still positivity happening in the world, in this case, in the real estate world during these unfamiliar and, and tough times. Um, and the last number I have here is that in Boca Raton, same thing, the properties are, again, I do most of my business in Boca Raton, so I'm just gonna to talk to all the Boca Raton homeowners and home buyers, same thing, the market is up as well. Uh, not only have more homes sold than last year at this time, but also the average sale price is up. So you tell us, Kevin, about the number of homes versus the sale price. Have you guys felt that same thing at Independence Title? Yeah, I mean, for sure. Well, you know, the deals, the price points are still great. You know. You know, you just look at these numbers and, and, and the market, the real estate market is not feeling the fear, you know, because agents want to work hard. Like you said, the only thing this is doing for our industry is cutting out the people who do not want to adapt to social media, uh, you know, do not want to adapt to, to just online marketing and, and the way home buying is, is going to be turning. You know, there was this big fear back uh, towards the end of, of 2019 and beginning of 2020 that Zillow was going to put agents out of business. And right. why is that? It's because they're doing everything automated and online. So right. this has just caused the local agent like yourself to start thinking like Zillow and start thinking about how can I still conduct business when the world is shut down because the media has caused them to shut down. So we're looking at this and realize you know, I'm actually involved in a transaction right now for my grandmother's house um, who, who recently passed away. So, so we're selling her house and I'm the trustee. And, and you know, the agents are going there and, and they just go when no one else is there. So the buyer goes, right. the agents go, the inspector goes, the right. appraiser goes, all at different times. Right. They're just going at different times. They wear a mask. They use Clorox wipes. And, and business is still happening. We're just being a little bit more cautious. Go figure everyone in March of 2020 and April of 2020 are washing their hands. I don't know what people did before. Right. You know, they're wiping their, their workstations down and they're wiping their car down and they're wiping their cell phone down. What did they do before? 
You right. know, so that really is looking at, you know, where is this taking our market? You know, when we talk about, you know, people always wonder, like, how can we do it? Like, I'm sure you use a lot of online signing programs. Someone wants to sign a contract. They right. don't need to be with you. They can be virtual talking through the whole process. Yep. You know, the, the market recently changed uh, January of 2020. They instituted um, online remote notarization for Florida notaries where now we're able to conduct a real estate closing, a full real estate closing, instead of sitting at the table, if all parties agree, we can actually conduct it through a Zoom type secure system right. of signing everything and recording. And everyone's like, this is great. They're, everyone's running to get certified to be able to do this. Right. We've been doing it since 2018. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, we weren't doing anything illegal. We were using out-of-state remote notaries that were licensed in other states because there are other states that approved it. So we were just using a third-party remote notarization company. But we've adapted to this technology since 2018. January of 2018, we did this. So we've been doing it for two, almost two and a half years now. So you know that's why our business is thriving when others are trying to survive they can barely survive so you know what you're doing is great i'm following all of your stuff online uh you know if there's an age if there's a homeowner up in up in boca you know you, you're the person to to get to them you're the person that's going to get their home sold quicker for top dollar because you can adapt to all of the changing ways as opposed to the agent that still says well we can't do anything unless we do an open house right we just do it virtually well, you know, we can't do anything unless we can do flyers, social media. Social media will put your house in front of someone 10 times faster than going to sending a flyer. Exactly. So, you know, you're doing great things. I'm following your stuff online. I like to see what you're doing. And, and you know, homeowners should be honored to be able to have you as their listing agent to be able to help close deals because you're going to get their deal closed faster for top dollar, uh, much better than an agent who can't adapt to the change of way. So good job. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate you saying that. Um, and then back to you, you, you're definitely somebody I look at through their social media and your marketing. And I like how consistent you are, how powerful, because you put out stuff that isn't just stuff to put out for, for no reason. Your stuff has substance to it and content. And I've seen that. And as well as, like I said, Kevin and I are both founding members of a BNI chapter in Boca. So I'm able to see him weekly and able to see the marketing that he gives for his sales team, which is the rest of us in BNI. So Independence title is, is definitely fantastic. I know a number of agents who have, have closed deals through independence title and Kevin is an expert as well on what's going on in the real estate world for home buyers, home sellers, not just through contracts. He knows everything that a real estate agent knows as well. So I definitely recommend you back. And um, I want to just talk about one more thing. Uh, I will say that, however, we have talked about a lot of the positives that have happened in the real estate market and that we have been able to coast right along there during this pandemic. However, there are still some negatives happening as well. Um, and we do totally understand those. For instance, I've had, uh, I have one listing that has continued to stay on the market. We've marketed virtually. I've still received calls about the property and everything as you and I were saying, I've marketed through social media, videos, et cetera. Um, there is another listing that we did temporarily take off the market and we're going to move it on hopefully around the summertime or when everything starts to get back to normal. And that's just for mostly the sellers just to feel a hundred percent comfortable. Uh, you know, they were just under the impression that they didn't want someone coming in the house. And then let's say if someone bought it, they would have to go into somebody else's house to, and they just weren't comfortable with it. So I totally understand that side of it as well. Um, and I'm still saying the market updates in their community. I'm still saying them things and buyers are still calling me about the house that they saw it. So we're still even able to generate interest from the property being temporarily off the market. So I say that to say this, um, if there's anyone out there who wants to buy a home, but is a little bit hesitant, I totally understand. I could do all the due diligence for you over these next couple months. Feel free to reach out to me at any time, as well as a homeowner who, you know, had their house on the market maybe, but wasn't totally comfortable. I understand that as well. And, you know, I, this is a, the long game for me. I'm not interested in getting all of my business during, you know, a couple months span. I am happy to work on a deal that may not be closing for a, a while. Um, it, it's the relationships are the most important thing for me. And I think that's for you, Kevin, as well. So I just wanted to, to bring our viewers to see that side of the equation as well. Absolutely. You know, I try and always be positive. There's negatives and positives to everything you, you right. go through in life. Right. Um, people just have to understand, you know, some people are like, well, how can you even open your doors? And there are some cities that actually 
specifically named real estate and title uh, companies as non-essential, meaning you have to close. Yes. And I'm like, it just can't happen. At a federal level, we are, are deemed essential. At yep. a national level, at a, a state level, and a county level, we're all deemed essential business because we deal with money, we deal with finances. You know, right. there are still people that are involved in real estate contracts. You can't just shut their business down because they could potentially lose their deposit. So yes, with every good, there comes a bad, but now's the time more than ever for people that are thinking, you know, because right. a lot of people watching this video may be thinking about selling their home in Boca. And if they're thinking about selling their home in Boca, now's the time to do a virtual call with you to start right. getting the ball rolling. So as soon as this turns around, we're going to have an influx in listings and an influx in, in right. sales happening because people are sitting and waiting. So yeah, we may see a lot more of cash transactions now, maybe not as many lender transactions. Uh, we see a lot more refinances now, so people aren't having to leave their, their home because it's a refinance. Right. But it just means that as soon as this passes in another 30 to 45 days, we're going to have a flood of the market. So do you want to be a seller that's part of the flood or do you want to be the, the seller that has their market, you know, their property ready to go, the virtual tour is ready, and the MLS right. is ready to just hit activate as opposed to having to wait. And now you're going to wait 30 days after this is over right. and you're not going to get top dollar for your house. And we don't know what's going to happen, you know, because obviously the, the uh, election is a big topic. You know, it always is. Every four years, the election is a big topic. We don't know what's going to happen. doesn't matter which side you are. It, we don't know what's going to happen. So depending on who gets in, into the uh, spot come November, we just don't know what's going to happen. Could it set us into a, a market correction? Could it set us into a market recession, a depression, or, or a thriving market? We just don't know. Right. So if you're sitting and waiting, say, well, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Stop waiting. Right. Get off your rusty dusty and get that house ready to be on the market if you're not comfortable listing right now, because the time is now. The time is getting it ready, getting it prepared now, getting the pipeline filled. So this way, as soon as it passes, you just hit activate and they're ready to go top dollar with a virtual tour. So people can literally walk through their home without even stepping foot in the house. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And I think one of the, the main things that we can 100% agree on is now is the perfect time to start planning uh, or not to start to continue planning for what's to come. It's a great time to assess your home living situation, whether you're thinking about selling your home, whether you're in the process of it or thinking about, you know, wanting to move. Now is the perfect time to plan and get everything in order and get all of your resources and all of the information. And each of us can give you everything you need to, to make an informed decision on something that's so important. So, uh, thank, so thank you so much, Kevin. Uh, I hope we could do this another time sometime soon, maybe when all, you know, as this hopefully gets closer to, to ending, we can do another update just like this, but I look forward to seeing you Friday. Uh, RBNI, do you want to tell everyone about our, our BNI group? Yeah, absolutely. So BNI is a uh, international networking organization. They have thousands of chapters, hundreds of thousands of members. Uh, it's basically the elite networking organization because it requires people to go every single week to a meeting. Obviously, we're doing virtual now, but it's for business owners that want to take their business to the next level. Not a business owner that's looking to just get started, but a business owner that is truly looking to take their business to the next level. I've been in BNI for probably 15 plus years on and off throughout the years, uh, right. and I track many, many, many referrals, hundreds of thousands of dollars per year, millions of dollars over uh, you know, the 15 years of doing it. So it sharpens your skills in networking. Um, so if you're a business owner and you're in the Boca area, because it's usually local, uh, you know, reach out to Evan or myself. We'll be happy to uh, get you an invite to just come check it out right now. It's virtually, so it doesn't cost you anything to hop on a call, see the other people in the room. Uh, and the whole concept is giver's gain. So it's all about, you know, doing calls like this to be able to, if I can help Evan build his business by putting this on my social media and he can do the same by, putting it on his social media. It's about, you know, helping you without the expectation business will come in return. Just knowing that if I give to you one day, something's going to come back to me. Um, so, so, you know, we welcome you to hop on the hop on our call or come to a live meeting once we start up again. And uh, you know, if you, it's all about taking your business to the next level, you know, again, not for the newbie in business, but for someone who wants to take their business to the next level, whatever that may be, right. that, you know, BNI is definitely a networking organization uh, for you to check out. Yeah, I second that. And again, I invite anybody who's interested to reach out to us. Um, if you'd like to reach out to Kevin about anything title related, anything in the real estate world, I'm going to put 
all of his information in the description. We're all sending this, this video out. So uh, his team at Independence Title, if you'd like to speak to them, I'll put all of the company's information. So uh, Kevin, again, thanks. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you, you as well. Appreciate it. Have a great day. All right, and everybody, please stay safe and healthy. And uh, we look forward to making the best out of the situation that we're all in. Thank you.